What's going on guys? Uh, happy weekend to everybody. Just uh, chilling here in a little man cave. You know, relaxing a little bit, going over some uh, Roman RC shopping cart. Oh God, that's gonna be the next purchase right there, guys. Uh, probably for the red one, or that one, I don't know. Um, just gave them a nice wash today. Silicone the fuck out of them. And, uh, yeah. So I like the red, man. It looks cool. The red on this is just subliminal. Put the light on so you guys can see it better. Check this one out. That's the red one. And this is the purple one now. I think in combination orange and purple. It was very, very badass. Mm, you guys can't really see it. It's like metallic, almost like metallic purple. Uh, focus, focus. It's like metallic purple. So I've been having a blast with uh, both of them. This one, the compression, compression of the motor and everything in combination with the non-silenced uh, Roven side pipe, the best. Uh, this side pipe here makes the engine scream. And this is 29 cc, and it's faster than the 30 cc. But that's because I have the stock. I don't know that disgusting pipe. But I'm gonna take that pipe out, and I'm also gonna pull the silenced uh, or non-silenced uh, side pipe there. And but it, it drives good. It drives good. But just there's like this. I don't know this slight. Compression shit, I'm pretty sure it has to do with the pipe, so stay tuned for that. Uh, I'm also gonna change the cage, like I said. I'm gonna go for that little cage right there, the chase cage. Uh, 99 bucks, man, I think. Come on, it's a bit ridiculous, but you know, it is what it is. Um, so, yeah, let me give uh, my opinion on these two cars that I have for, for some time now. Uh, hands down, King Motor is more rigid. The parts are, I don't know, like, they're just more reliable. Uh, the, the arms are like thicker, there's like less flex, nothing comes out. Um, it's an all around solid car, the King Motor. Roven, it's a bit on the flimsy side, as you guys can see, everything is still stuck. Even the screws, everything is still good. I already snapped the screws here that, you know, hold the, the steering crank there. Um, so, yeah. Oh, and this, guys. Got at the hardware store, this very hard, rigid uh, metal thread. And I made these because they had to be a little bit longer, so I made them. And I'm not gonna lie, guys, this, look at this. I've been going through these like crazy, like pen them and shit, they break. Look at this. They are just very, very flimsy. They do not work. Look, I broke this one off. Bend this shit. All right, so let's see what you can see. And I went to quite a few of them. Broke this one off. Bend this one. And I was like, look, look. Look at all this. I'm like, nah, man. This is just getting way, 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 way too much. So... I went to the hardware store. I got this, cut it to size, and the middle part I just put like uh, that uh, heat shrink right there. And guys, this thing is solid like a motherfucker. I mean, these cars have flipped like crazy. This has flipped, even broke the, 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 the screw dry, the screw there. Couldn't find a replacement, so I had just bought the same 
At the same hardware store, I got the long screw and I fixed this. This is just so, so sturdy. It's like, very good. Um, so yeah, so that's my uh, opinion on the King Motor and Roven. Uh, King Motor is just a little bit more quality, a little bit more rigid, uh, I don't know. Roven's a little bit, even though they come from the same shit, I th in my opinion, the Roven is a little bit more flimsier than the King Motor. Uh, which is ironic because back in the day, the King Motor was like crap and it would just break in a few few runs, but this is still going good and I bashed the shit out of it. So, that's it.